Flozi Wangui featuring Evelyn Wanjiru. Such a powerful song mm. right there. Thank you so much, guys. It's time for Inspiration Vibe. Tode mungu wame tuanda liani. Tulianza series ya Joshua. Ni vile miasema atuwezi maliza Joshua. Mse, he, we have a lot to learn from him. He was Moses' assistant. He was the, he was, uh, how can I say, is, uh, the helper, ni kama helper, eh? Helper of Moses, working with Moses. He had learned things from Moses. Moses had trained him. Being mentored by Moses is, was such a great opportunity and a great chance. And last, last, uh, last Sunday, we looked at how Joshua gave a good report of the promised land, despite our wengine kumi who gave the wrong report and they were not able to enter the promised land, including Moses that could enter the promised land. Now Joshua is the person who ushered the children of Israel into the promised land. And at, up on Numbers 27, we see that Joshua is being anointed to be the next leader after Moses so that he can now take and lead the children of Israel into their promised land. Okay, so Deuteronomy, Apo 34, the last chapter of Deuteronomy, we see Moses dying, yeah? Moses dying and now Joshua rising up to the occasion to be the leader that he has been anointed to, to be. God tells Moses, anoint Joshua to be the next leader. Joshua is anointing by laying of hands. Joshua is anointed. And Allah Fubai Ben Atobia, Joshua is now full of wisdom. After being anointed to be the next leader, he's now full of wisdom. Follow me. I am going somewhere. Don't lose hope. Twendele. And now Moses lays hand to Joshua. He's full of wisdom. Yeah. Because he's the, now the next leader. Moses died. Joshua stands up to the occasion. He takes up the, 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 the position and the um, God has anointed him to be, to be the next leader, to walk in that shoes of Moses that has left, to lead the children of Israel into the promised land. Kumbuka kuna generation ilikuwa mekufa. This is now a new generation that Mo Joshua is leading the people to. Now God tells Joshua to made it. Now, uh, for, for Joshua, for you to be that leader I want you to be, God tells Joshua you need to meditate on the word of God day and night for you to walk upright, for you to listen to what I'm telling you, meditate on the word of God. That is in Joshua chapter 1 verse 18. Okay? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is that. Now you know I'm laying a foundation in Joshua so that when I come to Zechariah, you see what I'm talking about. So when we meet Joshua and Zechariah now chapter 3, eh? he's being opposed by the enemy. You wonder what's up? This is the person God has, Moses has laid hands on. This is the person God has selectively, specifically chosen for, 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 for him, all right? For him to be now the next leader. Now in Zechariah chapter 3 verse 1, Apo, actually it's a whole chapter that is talking about Joshua. Verse 1, verse 1, verse 1, verse 1. I need to read it, verse 1. Okay, let me just read. This is verse 3. All right. Okay. Joshua verse 1, we see that Joshua, he's being even mentioned and being told that the way he's a high priest, Joshua the high priest, verse chapter 3, verse 1. Let me get it. Then he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord and standing and sat and standing at his right hand to oppose him. This is a high priest. This is, God, this is a person God has selected, but Satan is standing before him, accusing him and opposing him before God. This is a high priest. Mulem say a anointed rushes, but it's before God. A Satan is accusing him. And, and the Lord said to Satan, the Lord rebuke you, Satan. The Lord who has chosen Jerusalem rebuke you. This is not a brand plucked from the fire. Verse 3, now Joshua was clothed with filthy garments. Was clothed with filthy garments. Comments. All right, let's just leave it there. The only opportunity that the enemy had in Joshua's life to accuse him, he had the ground to accuse Joshua before God, standing at the right hand of Joshua, accusing him because of the iniquity that were in his life. Iniquity. Sin has a way of separating you from God. Sin has a way of giving the enemy a legal ground in your life. Come at Joshua, the high priest. The enemy sat and had a ground to accuse him before God. What about you? Where were you at the Sunday school? At the Imba praise and worship before your family? Imagine that. If Joshua the high priest, the enemy had an opportunity, a legal ground, legally, alikuwa na right ya kwa accuse Joshua before God, what about you? Sin will always separate you from God. That's why, that's why it is good to always repent, always, every time, 
repent because sin separates you, sin, iniquity, transgression, trespass separates you from God. Continuously repent so that God can come into your life. God will not come into a defiled body, a defiled person. I always, I always exist in the same place with sin. Always repent. That is my point. Sin will separate you from God. Sin will give the enemy a legal ground to oppress you, to possess you, and to do funny, funny things in your life. I'm sure that's not what you want, all right? To Tendelea next Sunday, I have a surprise for you next Sunday. I'm just